Hello, in this video I am going to teach you how to do early plasma beam sequence break. Normally to get the plasma beam you are required to collect power bombs, grapple beam, ice beam and spider ball. Meanwhile speed run only requires power bombs and ice beam. Though spider ball will be used too because the speed run will need it for other stuff. The benefit of early plasma beam sequence break is that you don't need to go to Vason Mines to collect Grapple Beam and main power bombs. Grapple Beam can be skipped for this, and there is sequence break to collect power bomb expansion early. It lets you use power bombs much earlier than you're supposed to. I made a tutorial video how to do early power bomb expansion sequence break. Link is in description. Now let's get started. To do this sequence break, we need to jump over there to that platform with a trick called Bomb Space Jump. I will give you a brief explanation how to do it. Bomb Space Jump is a speedrun trick where you instantly unmorph against the wall. Normally when you unmorph, the camera will allow Samus to go back to the first person mode. But what you can do is make an instant unmorph. And by doing that, you can add the jump button. But it's important to know, about half a second later after leaving ground, you need to input the unmorph and jump button. Otherwise, it does not work. One tip I can give you, when you unmorph, then you should press the jump button. Try to not press them at the same time, just to like a frame or two later, press the jump button. So now you know how to do bomb space jump. This trick requires multiple rapid button presses in very short time frame. The spot that is used for this sequence break is right here. However, this trick requires you to do two bomb space jump, which means you need to lay down two bombs. Try to get this kind of angle where the ball that is behind Samus is aligned with the morph ball. It will help you to get instant unmorph. To get instant unmorph to work, you need to do this. And it is holding an L button to charge a boost ball. What this means is that when you bomb jump and release the L button mid-air, it lets you instantly unmorph. For some reason. Keep a close eye on input display and watch what am I doing. Did you see it? I released the L button, which was the boost ball, before I unmorphed. If that is not done, you cannot input another jump. Now if you've managed to learn this part to get the instant unmorph and get the jump, now comes the second part of this trick, is to hold upright to get on that platform. And after you jump, you need to hold the target. If you don't get the target, it is gonna be rather impossible to jump on this platform then. What I recommend to do, personally, I always use a pointer control seam for speedruns. But for this trick specifically, I have to put on dual stick control seam. So it will make it easier to get the target to the enemy. My tip is that press the target after you jump, while holding upright. That way you will be more successful with locking into the enemy. If you didn't make it, that must have been because you unmarked and jumped a bit too early. Basically, you didn't get enough height. And there you go. And here's an important thing to keep in mind. Don't fall off. Because when you move this platform, if you happen to fall off, you can't make that trick jump anymore. This platform you see right here is a little smaller than the one that we just raised. Once you've made it this far, you just complete the puzzle normally. If you have a spider ball, you can just climb up this part. But if you don't, for some reason, you can do a slope jump against the spider track 
to make it up here. It works just like in the original version. In front of the door, there is actually a platform that is invisible, but it will show up after you complete the spider track. There are three options to get to the door. The first option is a simple way. You finish the spider track. You go through the whole room normally. The second option is to go back to this platform and go around the room by using this ledge. This method is a lot more scarier than you think because you might fall off very easily and this bot that I'm shooting at is not exactly standable even though it looks like it. You need to stand around there. Then from this spot, you need to do slope jump against a rock, so you can climb up from a spider track to get to the door. Personally, I don't like this method because it's too scary. Besides, there is even faster way. The third option is the fastest and the best one too. However, it's also the scariest. Get on the spider track, run to the other side and turn around, then try to get the camera get stuck underneath the spider track when you morph. If you have done it right, then you can start attempting this. When you morph, you want to spring fall to the right, unmorph, then jump to the door. It is very scary because you only have one attempt for it. Now when we have made it up here, we simply open the pot, and that is how you do early plasma beam.